Hello all, welcome back to TS Info Technologies YouTube channel. In this video, I am back with one more topic in Power Automate Desktop. That is how to extract tables from a PDF file by using a Power Automate Desktop. So let's see the examples now. I will explain the step by step how you can extract the tables from your PDF file which is stored in your local desktop by using the Power Automate Desktop app. Let's go and open the Power Automate Desktop and create the flow there. I have a PDF file where it contains the employee details with the leave policies. I'll open this PDF file to show you the data or tables present in this PDF file. In the first page, you can see the I have two pages, one of two. Uh, in the first page, uh, I have employee details. And in the second page, it has employee leave policies. I wanted to extract this employee details in one worksheet of an Excel and employee leave policy. I wanted it to add it in a separate worksheet. So let's see how we can do this by designing the Power Automate desktop flow. It is a large flow. I have already designed it, but I will explain this flow in a step by step wise manner. This is the workspace where we can add the actions by dragging and dropping from the left navigation. We can find and search the actions by typing here under the actions pane. As you can see, when we open this, then it will show all the actions under that particular connector. So if you're dragging and dropping it here, it will automatically add it to the workspace. The first step here is extract tables from PDF. We need to extract the tables from the PDF that you have. So type here in the actions pane, extract tables from PDF. You can see it is find under the PDF connector. So drag and drop it here. I will show the actions that I have taken. Inside the action, there will be a PDF file. You need to insert your PDF file here by clicking on select file icon. Then it will open the documents that is present in your local desk system. Uh, I have my file. I have stored that employee details file in this employee approved files folder, leave approved files folder. As you can see, when you click on this, then it will open and add it to the PDF file. After that, pages to extract here, there will be your options like all, single and range. I am selecting the all option here. If you wanted to select the option as a single, then it will extract only, only the table that is present in the single page. In my case, in my case, it will extract the values of employee details, but it won't extract employee leave policies if you're selecting the value as one in the pages to extract. Then if you are selecting here the range, we can provide the value of start page number to the end page number so that it will extract all the tables in between that page numbers. But here I will select the option of all. So it will extract the tables which are present in all the pages. By clicking on the advanced, it will show the advanced parameters where you have to toggle on this button uh, because first line contains the column name. It specifies whether the first line of the table contains column names or not. Then click on save. After that, drag and drop the option that is launch Excel. In the launch Excel, I wanted to save the PDF tables to the excel file so i am taking the excel file action with a blank document the values to the existing document then you have to select and open the following document then make instant visible the excel window will be visible when the flow execution started we can make it as a toggle on and then it will produce the variables that is excel instance then click on save after that I have taken focus window. This focus window is like it will focus us on the specific uh, window that we were performing the actions. So I have taken this uh, focus window. You can select the options here by title or class. 
After selecting find window mode, uh, then click on the drop down of window title. When you click on this, it will show all the windows that has been on active. Select the book one Excel uh, because we were saving the details to the Excel. So click on save. This action I have taken because I wanted the window state to be a maximized window. So I have taken set window state. Uh, in the same way, find window mode as uh, by title or class. It will display the book one Excel from the drop down of window title. After that, click on save. Then this action will also be added. Then take the set variable action. Uh, in the set inside the set variable action provide the variable name like uh, rename the variable name i have renamed it to table number and provided the value to zero and click on save uh, this set variable i have taken because the extracted tables from the pdf will be stored as an index of starting from the zero so uh, our first table that is employee details will be stored as a index with zero and the next table in the next page will be stored uh, with the index as one so i have taken the set variable to the value as zero and then we will uh, make it run until it reaches the one value so that it will loop through all the indexes and extract the tables data from the pdf then add for each loop uh, value to iterate in the value to iterate we wanted to take the tables values so the table values are stored in extracted pdf tables so click on this icon and uh, select extracted pdf tables and these values will be stored in the current item and click on save then write to excel worksheet drag and drop right to excel worksheet i wanted to store the column header rows from the extracted pdf table the excel is instance will be selected automatically by default and the value to write here will be extracted pdf tables and with the square brackets table number dot data table this data table dot column header rows when we provided column headers rows then we'll then it will extract the column headers column header that is employee name employee details it will extract these values that is called employee id name department position salary and hire date and write mode from the drop down option that is on currently active cell and click on save now this action will extract that and we wanted to get first free row on a column from the excel worksheet this excel instance will be selected automatically on the column will be one here i have selected the column as one and the variables produced here will be first free row on a column in the excel sheet it will take the first free row which is available then it will add the data to that free column so click on save then again i have taken right to excel worksheet uh, the same excel instance will be selected automatically here if you see value to write in the same way take the variable of extracted pdf files with the square bracket table number dot data table up to this this will extract the values that are present under the column headers so this will extract all the values then the write mode will be on a specified cell and the column will be one in the row we have to select the variable that is from the previous action the first free row on a column this is the variable that i have selected in the row and click on save then take increase variable already we have taken the set variable to zero now we have to increase the variable by one because the for each loop will run until the index value will reach us now take the increase variable this is the entire flow that i have designed this is the entire flow that i have designed the for each loop will run twice one is at the time of the first table that is with the zero index and another one is with the first index so these two times the loop will run and it will add the pdf tables to the excel worksheet now save the flow and run it
to save the flow click on this icon and make it run uh, this will take a few seconds of time and let me one of our power apps and power automate product that we have designed recently so this is the spguides.com page the, this is the product list that have been developed by our team uh, this is the new product and this is also a new product uh, when you click on this product you can go through the details of this product where you can download the complete solution this is a paid product but you will get the complete solution related to the expense claim request it for your organization you can raise a request for the expense claim in your organization also you can see the my expenses and the admin settings screen also also there all expenses and uh, expense dashboard is also there and the tools we use to develop this product is power apps power automate and powershell if you want you can also request a demo for this expense claim request uh, power apps app uh, we will be helping you for this and if you wanted to know a detailed description of this product you can come here and check out this page uh, if you are in really need of this product you can go and download the complete solution flow let me run the flow here when you click on the run the flow execution will start as you can see the flow starts running See the flow is executing everything. It has maximized the Excel sheet. As you can see here, with the index number, the worksheet zero will be created here with the employee ID, employee name, department, position, salary, hire date. This is the first table and in the second worksheet it has created the another table that is from the pdf so it has extracted both the tables like like this you can extract the tables that are present in your pdfs to the excel worksheet thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and see you in the next video bye bye